Young lady goes to a Popeye's restaurant. There's something wrong with the order. She makes a request for the staff to make it right. And then she is, according to the allegation, attacked. Here's the picture. They ripped out her hair, okay? They ripped out her hair. I received a text message from her attorney yesterday. He's a friend of mine. Attorneys representing a Metro Atlanta woman plan to file a lawsuit against a local Popeyes for an alleged assault in the restaurant's drive through. The David Bozeman law firm said they will share details about the lawsuit, which names the restaurant a manager and two employees as its defendants on Friday afternoon. According to a press release from the law firm, their client was a customer who was simply trying to correct her order in the drive through line. Moments later, they say the manager and the employees attacked the woman and forcefully ripped out her hair. Uh, let's go to Attorney Davis. Attorney Davis, a well known civil rights litigator, uh, graduated Georgia State University School of Law, one of the finest attorneys I know. He's on the case. After the attack, the woman suffered excruciating pain and severe emotional distress, the lawyer said. Uh, Decatur Attorney Davis alleged that the restaurant's manager had a documented criminal past involving violent acts, arguing that Papa showed negligence by hiring the individual and not conducting a proper background check. Um, what they are likely to find is that the local restaurant probably did not conduct background checks properly on many people. Now, why do you think that is? Now, I'm not advocating that people who have a background <clears throat> should not receive an opportunity to work. That's absolutely not the advocacy here at all. When you have establishments in black communities, typically they will not follow the rules that are established by corporate. They don't really care to follow those rules inside of particular communities. And there's also a remedy if somebody does have a criminal record, simple. Create a program that allows for an opportunity to remedy through an actual thoughtful program within the corporate structure. I only support companies who do so. But to simply not care and to hire without any level of background is insane. Now, I will say this, um, according to the allegation, not it wasn't just the manager. Uh, it was the manager leading others uh, in order to partake in this. Uh, the incident is an outrageous example, according to the narrative of Popeye's failure to prioritize customer safety and well being. Davis said in a statement, and I concur. By hiring a manager with a history of violence, Popeye's exhibited a reckless disregard for the safety of their patrons. It's called negligent hire, is what it's called. The manager and two employees exited Popeye's and violently attacked her inside of her vehicle, they went into a car to do so. Uh, we are resolute in our commitment to holding the restaurant accountable for their actions and seeking justice for our client. The attorneys will share more details at the press conference. Now, that press conference uh, did update just a couple of factors, but nothing that changes uh, the sentiment of the original press release from the office. They are filing, obviously, the lawsuit and moving forward. Um, these are the dynamics inside of communities that happen to be communities of color on a regular basis. Um, luckily, in this case, there's a civil rights attorney who was alerted to what happened. And he understands this from the perspective of uh, systemic rather than simply an individual's action. He knows that the negligence of the corporation, of the company itself, is what led to this cause and effect dynamic you see before you. And so he's attacking civilly the corporation. Now that corporate structure, I guarantee you will now adhere to the rules and policies that are placed for the sake of the consumer. All right, dear brother, what are your thoughts? Yeah, you mentioned the cause and effect dynamic. And I wanna touch on that a little bit because the manager, I would imagine, 
led this thing where they left the restaurant in order to get out of the car. So I would imagine the two employees wouldn't have done what they've done had it not been for the leadership or lack yeah. thereof of the manager. So that's where the failure is and that's where the ne- negligence uh, it lies in as we move forward and try to figure out what happened here. Yep. All right. Updates soon to follow.